4,000 children die each day due to water contamination. Water pollutants in the form of industrial chemicals, agricultural runoff, and micropollutants are widespread throughout the world. This mainly affects rural communities and developing nations. The primary solution to this problem is filtration. But filters must be replaced frequently, and replacing filters is not only environmentally wasteful, but an added financial burden to impoverished communities. Activated carbon is a powerful filtration medium capable of removing micropollutants and harmful chemicals from water. Activated carbon is made by expelling the volatile materials from charcoal by using high temperatures and steam, leaving behind only a carbon matrix. It is traditionally produced on a large scale using expensive and polluting processes which use large fossil fueled powered rotary furnaces. The first step to making activated carbon is finding a source of charcoal. Many different kinds of charcoal can be activated. We used coconut shell as it is readily available in South India. Anyone can make charcoal using very basic techniques. We first explored different parameters for optimal activation in our test furnace. We tried different temperatures, quantities of coal, and steam or water input rates. We then tested the samples in the lab to determine the best conditions. Our innovation yields activated carbon on a smaller scale, using only solar power making it non-polluting and accessible to everyone. Once produced, it can be incorporated into a slow sand filter. We used an upcycled parabolic reflector capable of generating temperatures of more than 1200 degrees Celsius to create the temperature and steam required. We designed our system to be as robust, easy to operate and maintain as possible. To do this, we used a single DC motor to track the sun on a single axis. The sun's angle of declination is adjusted minutely each morning and then the dish tracks the sun with high precision for the rest of the day. Differences in charcoal composition change the parameters of the activation process. The distance from the heat collector to the dish varies temperature and the speed of the screw conveyor varies duration. These can be adjusted to meet the requirements of specific charcoal. The thermal collector can reach a temperature of up to a thousand degrees. The collector's function is twofold. It passes the sun's heat energy to the activation chamber and generates the steam required. Steam is made by a controlled drip of water into the thermal collector, which injects it directly into the activation chamber where charcoal is heated to a temperature of over 800 degrees. The screw conveyor moves the coal through the activation chamber and out the escape chute for collection. Adding activated carbon to a slow sand filtration system makes an extremely effective water filter. This innovation is scalable and versatile and will empower communities to produce their own water filters all around the world.